Um, hello and uh, welcome to uh, this first video in, I guess, a series of videos that I'm going to make uh, kind of responding to uh, these questions that I just got from uh, Naomi Davidson at the uh, Khan Academy. I guess I'm making this primarily for uh, Naomi Davidson to kind of, you know, respond to respond to uh, to these. But uh, I guess also to kind of tell about my experience using Khan Academy and my experience with the uh, what, what I've been calling College the Sequel. Um, I'm, I'm uh, almost done with my uh, second uh, second college degree, uh, you know, and, and thanks, I, I think the, you know, really the reason I've been able to finish it has been, uh, you know, through the help that I've gotten through Khan Academy. So anyway, uh, I guess I'd like to just kind of, you know, go through a little bit of my experience with using Khan Academy and my experience in college. So to start off, this was the first question. Tell us about your experience with Khan Academy. Um, I guess where I'd start with this, and, you know, this is, you know, I've made a, a you know, a couple of different videos, uh, I think, that, you know, have gotten up on the stories page at Khan Academy, sort of telling about my experience. So you might have heard this before, but... You know, growing up, I was pretty much always a C student. So I was a C student uh, growing up, and that was really in, in basically everything, and you know, reading and writing and arithmetic and, and gym. You know, I was really always, you know, a C student. I just didn't really excel at, uh, at school that much, uh, but I did, uh, you know, enjoy, and I did, you know, I guess kind of in my own way, I guess excelled at uh, playing saxophone, saxophone. You know, I, I really enjoyed music. I really enjoyed band class. I really enjoyed, uh, you know, just being able to play saxophone and kind of the community around band and also kind of the uh, approach to uh, learning to play an instrument, I think, is really one where, um, you know, what, uh, what uh, teachers look for in music programs, I think, is really much more improvement. You know, you do set goals and, you know, you have to be able to play this scale by this day and stuff like that. But really, I think, you know, what the what the goals seem to stress is improvement, not necessarily, you know, uh, you know, maybe like a math class does where you have to learn how to, you know, divide decimals by this date. And if you don't learn how to do that, you get to be a, you know, a C student for the next 10 years. I think that, you know, uh, at least the music programs I went through, um, you know, they they tend to focus much more on improvement. You know, you you know, it's not necessarily that you set the goals for yourself. Your teacher, I think, still you know sets the goals. But you know, the goals are to make sure that you're always working on something. But anyway, I guess that's a different discussion. But anyway, I uh, you know, I really enjoyed playing saxophone a lot, and I think I did okay at it, and. Um, in uh, 2002, I graduated from high school. So I graduated 2002, grad from high school in 2002. And in 2007, 2007, I graduated with, I graduated with a music degree, music degree. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed getting the music degree. I really enjoyed, you know, I still enjoy uh, playing music a lot. I still enjoy playing saxophone a lot. Um, but uh, I guess one of the things that I really knew kind of, you know, all through, you know, my, uh, you know, elementary school, middle school, uh, high school, and even, you know, while I was working on getting my music degree, I always kind of knew that I was very interested in technology. I was very interested in, you know, stuff that I... I guess I kind of understood that you had to have a pretty deep understanding of mathematics in, in order to do professionally. Um, but, um, you know, I, I just, you know, figured that I wasn't that great at math or that, you know, there really wasn't an outlet to kind of help me improve in, uh, in math. Uh, so, you know, I guess I never really pursued it that much. But uh, I guess what happened in 2007, I graduated with my music degree. And uh, I was actually uh, lucky, like I, I was able to, you know, uh, you know, still do a good amount of playing, uh, you know, after I grad after I graduated. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I guess happened, you know, very soon after I graduated was I 
you know, the thought entered my head of, you know, maybe I could, you know, you know, maybe I could see about getting into engineering. You know, I had really always been interested in computers. I had always been interested in building things. I guess I had been more interested in taking things apart. But, you know, I had always been, you know, I had always had some kind of idea in the back of my head about going into engineering. I always thought that, you know, maybe it would be fun. But, you know, kind of like I said, it, it, it was one of those things that I sort of understood that you needed to have, um, you know, kind of a deep understanding of math in order to, you know, in order to do well, in order to do professionally. Um, so anyway, you know, I kind of had that thought in the back of my head. And I remember, you know, one day uh, I had a, a, a calculus book. Um, you know, I, I tried to take calculus while I was getting my music degree. Uh, it didn't go well. I, I ended up needing to drop the class. I actually ended up, I, I tried to take Calc 1 twice, ended up needing to drop the class twice. Um, and uh, so anyway, I had this calculus book. So I guess this is my calculus book. Let's see if I can draw. My calculus book looks like a cube. This is Calc. So I had this calculus book, and I remembered, you know, thinking one day, you know, I sat down at my kitchen table and you know, basically saying to myself, you know, what is in this book, you know, I, you know, I should be able to understand, you know, I should be able to open up the book and somehow figure it out. And, you know, somehow, like, you know, if I have the time now, like I had graduated from school and, you know, I wasn't planning on entering back into school anytime soon. Um, you know, I, I uh, figured I could take all the time I needed in order to learn the stuff that I would need if I wanted to get into an engineering program. So I remember taking this calculus book and trying to go through, like, just the things that I didn't get from calculus class. And, you know, I guess uh, as, you know, I don't know if, you know, any of you watching this video might have had the same experience, but, you know, it's very difficult for me to learn stuff from reading a textbook. So... You know, I tried to learn stuff from reading this calc book, and it did not work out well. You know, it was just, you know, kind of, you know, I remembered feeling really dejected about it. I remember thinking, you know, I'm just not going to get this. I'm just never going to get this. I'm, I'm just one of those people that's not going to understand calculus. Um, you know, and I, uh, I guess, uh, you know, I felt like that and, you know, kept playing music, uh, you know, after having that experience. And... I remember at one point just thinking, well, maybe there's something, maybe, you know, it's difficult to kind of read this book and go through everything and understand this, but, you know, in 2007, you know, there was, uh, I guess, you know, YouTube had, you know, was kind of, I guess, becoming more and more popular, and I guess I thought that, you know, maybe there's something, maybe there's just something on YouTube that can help me understand, uh, I guess, what's in this calculus book. Um, so anyway, I went to YouTube, and I guess uh, the first thing that I searched for, because it was kind of the last thing I remember really not understanding from the last math class that I guess I took in high school, was trig identity. So I went to YouTube, and I did a search for trig identities. And uh, the Khan Academy was, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it was the first hit. Uh, there, there were just a whole bunch of different videos on trigonometry and trig identities and, you know, every, you know, everything from kind of the basic fundamentals of a trig class up until, you know, the end of that trig class and then beyond and going into calculus. And I remembered watching the trig identities video and kind of getting it, I guess, but then I remembered going, I remembered basically saying like, okay, let's start at, you know, the beginning of the trig playlist. So let's start from video one, video one of trig. And I remember just being like, oh, this is what trig is about. Like I, I remembered, you know, uh, just kind of, you know, basically being like, oh, this is the entire point of what this class I took in high school and got a C in. You know, that, that was the entire point of what this class was about. It's all about, uh, you know, angles and right triangles. And this is, you know, what the sine function actually is. And, you know, I, I, uh, 
I guess it was kind of an eye-opening experience, even just watching that very first video in the Trig playlist. So anyway, I, you know, went through, you know, all of the videos in the Trig playlist. I think there were like, you know, about 50 of them. So I went through, you know, all the videos in the Trig playlist, you know, and I felt like after I had gotten through those, like I had a pretty, a pretty good understanding of, I guess, what Trig was about. And so I figured that, like, okay, I have that understanding of, uh, of Trig, so why don't I just keep going? Like, what about, you know, what does calculus look like? So I started looking at the videos in the calc playlist. I started with, again, you know, the very first video, the video on limits in the calculus playlist. And, you know, I watched it, and I remember the, the idea of limits, you know, when I tried to take calculus in, a, in college, you know, being, you know, this very confusing idea and, you know, not really getting it, not really understanding it. Uh, and I remember needing to work on it a lot. Like, I remembered watching, there were like, I forget how many, there were maybe like five videos, five, like, you know, calc videos one through five uh, were all on limits, we're all on limits. And I remember spending like two weeks, two weeks of just, you know, watch the video and think about it or watch the video and, you know, see if I can, you know, do the problems that were in the videos and change the numbers around and see if it kind of makes sense to me. Like I, I remembered spending kind of a lot of time on uh, these limits problems, uh, you know, and eventually I think I, you know, I... Then uh, I eventually got up to speed on limits. And so after that, you know, I kept going. I started with, you know, video number six in the calculus playlist. And I just kept on going through the calculus playlist. Um, after I finished the calc playlist, I kind of thought, like, okay, well, what else is on the channel? I saw, okay, well, there's a physics playlist. Physics playlist. There was a chemistry playlist chemistry. There was, uh, I think there was also an organic chemistry, organic chemistry, uh, playlist on the channel at the time. And, uh, you know, I started with the physics playlist and I got through all of that. Uh, I, I then kind of moved on to the chemistry playlist. I started going through this and I was, you know, I should also mention, you know, I, I was working at the time that I did this, but, you know, I would kind of take my computer to a coffee shop and I would, you know, watch videos you know, from like six until, you know, 10 o'clock at night or so, um, you know, after, uh, after work. And I got through calculus, physics, chemistry. I started going through organic chemistry. I really didn't get too far. I think there was also linear algebra, linear algebra. And I started going through, uh, started going through some of that. And uh, really, I guess this continued, you know, I, I kept going through these videos. I went through uh, you know, uh, physics, chemistry, some linear algebra, uh, and, um, and really this, I guess, continued up until, uh, it was really, I guess, the spring of 2010, the spring of 2010, so remember, I graduated, I kind of started with this back in 2007, this was really, I guess, kind of the summer of 2007, and this continued up until the spring of 2010, and the spring of 2010, I kind of thought, you know, I, if there's ever a time where I could go back to school and do engineering, engineering, it's definitely now. Like there's, this is, you know, I feel, you know, as prepared for going back to school as I think I, I ever will. You know, I, I felt like, you know, I had a pretty good understanding of of, uh, at least, you know, I felt like I had a good enough, uh, understanding of the concepts in physics. I felt like I had a really pretty solid, uh, understanding of kind of, I guess, what calculus was about and kind of the, um, uh, the way that you kind of did all the problems, like kind of what the, what the, uh, goal was behind, uh, doing all of the, all of the different problems that you had to do in, in a calculus, uh, in a calculus class, or at least in a calculus, you know, one or two class. And, uh, and so I decided that I was going to apply to, uh, I was going to apply to, uh, to school. I was going to apply to get a second undergraduate degree, a second bachelor's degree in electrical engineering, in electrical 
engineering. And so I applied to uh, Temple University. Let me see if I can draw the temple. I think that that is, that's kind of what the temple symbol, that's sort of, actually no, that's a terrible temple signal symbol. The uh, temple symbol is supposed to look like a T, and I'm not doing a great job drawing it. But anyway, I applied to uh, Temple University for electrical engineering. I, uh, I got in. Uh, you know, I, I still think that I was pretty lucky to, uh, to uh, get into Temple with my, you know, past, uh, past transcripts uh, from high school and from, and from my first college degree. I was really lucky that they, they let me in. And, uh, and that was in, and so I started in the fall of 2010, started in the fall of 2010, and um, really I think that the foundation that was laid for, uh, for uh, my Calculus 1 class, my Calculus 2 class, Calculus 2, my differential equations, my physics class, physics, and my chemistry class. The foundation that I laid uh, by doing all the work that I did at the Khan Academy, really in these cl classes, Calc 1, Calc 2, differential equations, physics, and chemistry, I think that really propelled me through each of these classes. And really, I felt like what I was doing in these classes, like, it seemed like what everyone else was doing in these classes was struggling so hard to learn the mechanics of doing the problems, the mechanics of getting the homework done, the mechanics of, uh, you know, being able to uh, differentiate a function, being able to integrate a function, uh, being able to figure out how much force there was on, on some uh, body, or, or being able to balance some chemical equation. I felt like everyone else in the class was spending you know, at least 80% of their time that they spent, you know, in the, you know, devoted to the class, in just kind of understanding, the in just kind of understanding the mechanics about, you know, how you kind of do, you know, all the stuff that you need to do in the class. And I think that the foundation that I laid uh, by working with the Khan Academy, really in these five different subjects, really kind of allowed me to just sort of, you know, I guess, uh, you know, I guess sort of just like think about each of these different subjects, like kind of just spend my time like thinking, what does it mean when I integrate a function? What does it mean when I differentiate a function? How, you know, how, uh, you know, I know that we talk about, you know, an integral being the area under, under a curve, but like what would that mean in the context of the curve, rep if a curve represents, you know, force on a spring or, or, uh, or, uh, or voltage or something, something else. Uh, you know, I, I really think that, uh, you know, really where the Khan Academy helped me was when I st started taking these courses, I, you know, I had a, a really good understanding of them, but it also just freed up all this time where I could kind of just think about the material um, a lot more. Uh, but anyway, you know, uh, I, and I think that paid off. Uh, you know, I, I, um, you know, I started in the fall of 2010, uh, and I guess I'm making this uh, right now. It, I'm actually starting, uh, like, basically right now. Today was the first day, but um, uh, it was a snow day. I'm currently snowed in in, in Philadelphia right now. Uh, part of the reason I guess this video is kind of getting long-winded. But, um... Right now, uh, I'm just about to start the spring semester, spring of 2014 semester. It's my last semester at, a, at Temple, and I've, uh, I've gotten straight A's my entire, my entire time at Temple. I've, I've still got a 4.0 uh, uh, GPA, grade point average, at, a, at Temple. It, you know, it's been, you know, kind of surreal, actually, uh, the, you know, how how well it's gone compared to how, I guess, poorly school went for me growing up. And, you know, I guess one of the things that I do kind of want to say, you know, I'm, you know I, I think that there are a lot of people that I'm going to school right now that are, you know, kind of innately much, you know, much smarter than I am. And I think, you know, most people in engineering school are innately much smarter than I am. I, I think that I kind of need to spend 
a lot of time going over stuff multiple, multiple times. It tends to take me a really long time to, uh, to learn things. And uh, I think that that is really where the Khan Academy helped me out with laying, you know, specifically, I guess, this, this foundation, um, you know, and, uh, and kind of allowing me to take all of the time that I guess I needed to, to learn it, you know, as, as fully as I guess I could. Um, you know, so anyway, I guess that's really my experience with, uh, with Khan Academy. It's been, you know, you know, it's been un, you know, unbelievable how, uh, how great it's been, you know, it's really kind of, I guess, uh, changed my life. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I really am enjoying what I'm doing, I guess, a lot. Uh, and, you know, I guess it, it's kind of like I was, you know, I guess, like I said, it, it's kind of freeing up a lot of time for me to not necessarily think about the mechanics of how to do things. And I'm, I feel like I, what the Khan Academy has enabled me to do, not just in these classes, but, you know, kind of propelling me forward, I guess, into, into deeper classes like signal processing and digital communication, uh, you know, which rely very heavily, particularly on Calc 2 and differential equations. Um, you know, what, what the Khan Academy has allowed me to do and, you know, and helping me kind of lay that foundation uh, has been, you know, really to free up time to just kind of think about the material a lot. Think about what it means, you know, when I, you know, uh, uh, low-pass filtering the signal. Or think about what it means. Like, why does it make sense that, uh, that um, a correlation receiver is the, is the optimum receiver and, and stuff like that in digital communications? I think it's, you know, that, that's been kind of the power of the Khan Academy for, for me. Uh, so anyway... I know this video has gone on kind of long, but uh, I guess that that uh, is, um, I guess, the important stuff to answer uh, answer this question. And I guess this is, you know, this is a pretty overarching uh, question. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in a future video.